Hey Soul Surfers, welcome to day four of the 30 Days to Self Love series. If you are new to this channel and have not yet subscribed, go ahead and take a moment to do that by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when new content is posted. And if you are looking forward to this series and want to spread the message of self-love, you can help do that by clicking the like button and sharing the videos with your friends. All right, can you guess what today's self-love strategy is? Yep, it is to get moving. Weights are tiring after a while. All right, how can you get moving? There are so many different ways. You can get moving by doing stretching, yoga. Some people think yoga is really easy, but it's not. I actually had this DVD that was yoga for weight loss, and I was like, ah, oh, this is gonna be a breeze. And I did it, and I don't think I've sweated more in my life than when I did that video. So don't discount yoga if you haven't tried it yet, and don't think it's gonna be like a walk in the park, because you might rather want to take a walk in the park actually. <laughs> the thing that I really highlight and encourage when it comes to exercise and getting moving is to make sure it's something that you enjoy doing. Because if it's not something that you look forward to and you are not enthusiastic to do it, it's not gonna last and you're probably not going to do it very long. That being said also, feel free to switch things around. I love variety so I don't always do the same thing. Actually, right now I do jazzercise and I love it so much because the routines change all the time so I don't feel like it's boring and I feel like I have enough variety. But when I used to go to the gym, I would get so bored doing the same thing over and over and over again. So I like to switch up and like take a walk somewhere. And back when I was like just walking too, like I can't walk in the same place. So I like to explore different areas around me because that gives it of the variety that I'm looking for in my workout. Now there are some people that can pick something and do it and they stick with it and they love it and do whatever works for you. But my point is, is that if you get bored doing the same thing, feel free to change it up. You don't have to commit to the exact same thing every single day every single week or however often you're doing your movement. Another simple way that you can include movement in your day is to turn on your favorite music and just dance. Just dance around by yourself. If you have kids or friends or anyone around you that lives in your house, you can dance with them. But just because no one's there doesn't mean you can't dance. So turn on the music and dance. That's a great way to move. Stretching is also an awesome way to get moving. Stretching is phenomenal. It feels so good. I mean, think about when you wake up in the morning and when you do a nice big stretch. It's so awesome. It's great for flexibility too. So stretching, even though it's not very active, it's still a form of movement. So taking the time to even just do gentle stretches in the morning or any time of your day is a great way to get moving. And it also helps the blood circulate in your body as well. So the reason that movement is so important is because it does a few things. It connects us with our bodies. A lot of times we've been taught to hate our bodies or not enjoy them and so we get disconnected from them. The more we move, the more in touch with our body we feel and the more comfortable we will feel in our body. Movement also grounds us. It brings us into the present. It also opens up our creative pathways too. If we're doing, especially if we're doing like a free flow dance and just turning on music and dancing however we want, so it opens the creative channel as well. The biggest thing that I hear about exercise is that people say they don't have time to do it. And there's again that underlying tone of, I don't care enough about myself to make time to do this. So I highly recommend scheduling time, even if it's 10 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes a day. You can definitely do five to 10 minutes a day. Make that time to get in touch with your body and ground yourself and do the exercise, take your walk, do your stretches. Really give yourself that time to connect and move. Another thing about movement is that it does just that. It moves the energy in our body so it doesn't get stagnant. So even if you're working at a, a, an office job, you can still take time every hour or so to stand up and just walk around your office or even do some light stretching at your desk. Any little bit of movement that you can incorporate into your day adds up to big results. All right, Soul Servers, let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite way to get moving? 
Do you have a favorite exercise that you like to do? Do you like stretching, dancing, something else I didn't mention here? I would love to see all of your awesome ideas for how you're getting moving because you might actually give me some new things to try. And I will see you in the next video.